Hi, first graders. So we're back here today for lesson three for our journeys lesson. So make sure you have all the materials that I put on the outline for today and we're going to get started. Here we go. We're going to begin with the warm up with wordplay. I want you to develop a list of words that rhyme with the word bed. We're looking for the short E words. So after you have a list, create a poem of two or four lines using some of the short E words when rhyming. Make it funny, make it silly, okay? Think about the rhyming words at the end. Segment syllables. Let's take apart some of the words. So here's where I want you to clap the syllables. You'll be able to hear them a little bit better. Sandbox. Sand box. Ant hill. Ant hill. Ant hill. Try the next one. Wrist watch. And for the last one, try your own. Our high frequency words. These are the words that I have next to my rocking chair as the cards. Try hopscotch. Try jumping jacks. Try doing push-ups, wall push-ups, star jumps, whatever you want, get your body moving. Say them, spell them, and then say them again. If you're up for the challenge, put them into a sentence. Door, D-O-O-R, door. Try, use, more, want, old, mother, wash. Now for our phonics lesson, short E, E, A. Here's an example of bread, E eh, as in elephant, heavy, heavy has two syllables, head, E, eh, D. Think about how you would break it apart if you were trying to write it. You guys know what to do here, red as in the color. Read as in, I read that story this morning. Men, meant, bed, bread. Try two, three, and four on your own. Five, rain helps plants grow and spread. Six, Quinn has a rain hat on his head. Please complete Reader's Notebook, page 68, when you're done with this. We're going to move on to our decodable reader. A springtime rain. It starts on page 147. You're going to look for the EA and words to know. The first thing I want you to do from the cover page is to predict. What do you think is going to happen in the story? The next thing I want you to make sure is that you are tracking from left to right. After you read the story, I want you to respond orally by telling somebody about the story. Think about the beginning, the middle, and the end. Move to your hardcover book, Little Rabbit's Tail. You worked on your cause and effect paper yesterday. If you haven't finished, after you reread the story today, go ahead and finish that. After reading, retell the story using past tense verbs because they have already happened. Complete Reader's Notebook pages 69 and 70. And if you have the close read reader book, please do lesson 20. little bit about our vocabulary. We're going to use our applying vocabulary knowledge. Here are four words. Ashamed. You feel bad about having done something wrong. Blunder. A bad or silly mistake. Gullible. You believe everything you hear, even very silly things. Alarmed feeling scared or worried. 
This has to do with Chicken Little. So think about how those words fit in that story. Quick write, just grab a piece of paper and I want you to answer these questions. What could make you feel alarmed? Now, I did a little bit of your work and I gave you a sentence starter. Blank would make me feel alarmed. Number two, would you be ashamed if you made a blunder? Here's a sentence frame if you need it. I would blank, as in be or not be, ashamed if I made a blunder because. The next one, number three. If someone tried to trick you, would you be gullible? Here we are for grammar. Prepositional phrases can tell when. Yesterday we talked about where, as in like under the table. Today we're gonna to talk about when. Here are some example. examples. Before lunch, after dark, during class, at noon. Now, why do we have this? It adds more detail to the sentence. I'm able to picture this sentence more by giving it a prepositional phrase and telling when. Please complete Reader's Notebook, page 72. Spelling. If your list is, com is the compound word list, please complete Reader's Notebook, page 71. All of the other lists, put your words into sentences that would go along with little rabbit's tail. So have a little fun with it and see what sentences you come up with. Please, as always, take your time, take lots of breaks. If you have any questions, email me. Have a great day.